It is hard to describe what has happened to Washington in these past three days. The most powerful people of the most powerful nation upon Earth apparently swept off their feet as if by fantasy. The prince and princess arriving for another but final Washington evening, this time at the National Gallery. Assembled guests in the foyer, the rich, the powerful, and more cascading down the stairs to join them. The Chief Justice, Warren Burger, the Treasury Secretary, James Baker, heads of multinationals, the socialite ladies of Washington rooted to the floor, all pressing for the best spots to see, meet, talk with the royal couple. The gallery boss urging restraint as if to a football crowd. But physical attempts to drive the powerful back proved too late. Hollywood, Elgar, Cecil B. de Milne were all to play a part as the regally inspired Fantasia was played out. So the powerful moved in, a whirlpool of faces, toing, throwing, seeing, being seen with, meeting with, being seen meeting with. And almost as suddenly as the royal couple had appeared, they had gone, leaving only memories of three days of autumn images. Next to Palm Beach, Florida, the mecca of the rich and famous, a game of polo, a fundraising dinner, baubles and bangles to boot, and tomorrow, a return to the quieter climes of the old country. John Snow, News at One, Washington.